Hi, I'm Jason, and welcome to Dosatron University. Today, Dosatron's troubleshooting video series features the Dosatron D8RE5 40 GPM injector. In this video, I will use a strap wrench and a flat blade screwdriver. The three key areas in troubleshooting are, one, the injector is clicking but not drawing the concentrate, two, the injector is clicking but is pushing water down into the concentrate tank, Three, the injector is not clicking or stalling at low flow. The first two are the most common. It's best to perform troubleshooting in a clean area, or if your dosatron is in line, cover your concentrate tank so you won't lose any of the parts. Part one, if your dosatron is clicking but not drawing the concentrate, it could be as simple as the strainer is plugged with debris. Take a look at the strainer. If it is clogged, just clean it out and retest your dosatron unit. If there is no suction, but the dosatron unit is clicking, turn the water on. Unscrew and remove the suction hose clamp and hose. Then check to see if you feel suction on your finger. If you do feel suction, just cut an inch off the top of the hose and reattach. Or if the hose is cracked, rigid, or looks really old, just replace it now. After you reinstall the suction hose, you should start to see the liquid begin moving up the hose. If you do not see liquid moving up the hose, or still don't feel suction on your finger, turn the water off. Press the air bleed button on the bell housing a few times to release the pressure. To continue, unscrew the suction hose clamp and remove the suction hose once more. Set both aside. Unscrew the injection stem nut. Then pull the injection stem straight out of the injector's body and set aside. Take a close look at the plunger seal for nicks, scratches, or wear. If you see damage or don't remember the last time you changed the seal, just replace the plunger seal now. To change the plunger seal, use the screwdriver to carefully remove the plunger seal by rolling it out of the groove. Install the new plunger seal into the groove on the plunger. To reinstall the injection stem, align the notches in the lower part of the blue body with the teeth on the top of the injection stem assembly. Slide the two parts together and hand tighten the injection stem nut. Finally, place the hose onto the barb and tighten the clamp. The injector should now be drawing the concentrate. Part 2. If your injector is pushing water down into the concentrate tank, it's time to investigate the check valve. To do this, remove the hose clamp and hose and set aside. Unscrew and remove the check valve nut. Grab the barb and pull the check valve assembly straight out. Set the unit aside. Hold the check valve assembly and twist the white top guide a quarter turn counterclockwise to remove. Also remove the spring and cone. Inspect all the check valve parts. If they are dirty, you may be able to soak, brush off, and reinstall. If you see damage or don't remember the last time you changed these parts, just replace the complete check valve assembly now. To reassemble, first insert the cone into the top of the bar. Then slide the spring over the shaft and move the top guide into position. Twist it a quarter turn clockwise to lock. Give it a tug to make sure everything is in position. Now reinstall the check valve assembly into the stem and thread on the check valve nut. Finally, slide the suction hose clamp onto the hose. Place the hose onto the bar and then tighten the clamp. Make sure to set your injector to the desired setting. This should stop the water from going back into the concentrate tank. Part three, if the injector isn't clicking or is stalling at low flow, we need to investigate the piston. Turn the water off and press the air bleed button a few times to release the pressure. Use the strap wrench to loosen the bell housing. Then unscrew, remove, and set it aside. Grasp the white plastic bridge on the top of the piston and pull it straight out. Holding the piston, press the push rod up and down. It should click in both directions. If not, please give us a call for assistance. Or check out the D8 Piston Shell and Actuator Assembly Replacement Service video. Next, visually inspect the upper and lower flanges on the piston shell. If they are worn or have deep scratches, the piston shell needs to be replaced. Another way to check the flanges is by doing a fit test. To test the upper flange, invert the piston and insert it squarely halfway into the blue bell housing. It should stay in place. To test the lower flange, unscrew the plunger counterclockwise and remove. Then insert the piston squarely into the body about halfway. It should stay in place. If either is loose, the piston shell needs to be replaced. For assistance in replacing the piston shell, please contact Dosatron Technical Service at 1-800-523-8499 or check out the D8 Piston Shell and Actuator Assembly Replacement Service video. Reattach the plunger by threading it on clockwise. Place the piston back into the body and reinstall the blue bell housing hand tight. We hope this video has been helpful in troubleshooting your Dosatron D8 RE5 40 GPM injector. For more information, please call us at 1-800-523-8499 or visit us online at dosatronusa.com.
To see other videos, check out our YouTube channel. I'm Jason at Dosatron University. Thanks for watching.